All right, so we're back. There's another review. Um, we got the episode one Qui Gon figure here. Basically, just wanted to do like a quick uh, comparison rundown, like the differences. I know there's not a ton, but obviously between the uh, the old release, I don't remember when this came out. It was oh. a few years ago. It's before they were doing the photo reel, so this is definitely a much needed update to this, this figure. Is 2016. Yeah. And I just thought it'd be kind of cool because I have a bunch of the episode one figures actually laying around to see just how much it, it like the old packaging kind of stacks up. And we're still waiting on Mace Window. We're not going to do a review on him or this one, but yeah, I did get the battle droid in. It's pretty cool. The Qui-Gon was the main one that I wanted. I already got the Mace Window and I know it's literally the exact same figure. They didn't change it at all. So Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically... This is their new... I mean, it's not even new, because they technically did this for Obi-Wan and Darth Maul a couple years ago. With a nice, shiny, like, holographic uh, retro cardback style. Which I'm still kind of bummed out that I didn't get my hands on when they came out. And I kind of just kept passing on them. But, you know, what can you do? The back is definitely plain. Not a lot going on. Because I was going to say, I wanted to compare it to the actual episode one cardback. Obviously, you know, they don't have the stuff on here like Collection 1, but they do have the little Hasbro logos in the right place. It would have been cool if they put a contact chip in there, just like a fake one. Just, just to have. Just to have, <laughs> because it's it's so close. It's so close, like when you look at them. Oh, yeah, of course. But then, you know, obviously you flip it around to the back and, you know, they have all the other figures here and... The Comtech, which I do actually have one of these, and it does actually work. Maybe I'll pull that out later in the video. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's really neat. It's going to, you know, it'll kind of suck to open this one, but what can you do? And, yeah, like I said, I wanted to compare it to this one that I paid way too much money for a while back because I was like, oh, I need a Qui-Gon. And this was before Hasbro was just, like, hard on, like, re-release, 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 archive, re-release. Like, okay. So... What are your first impressions? This one? Yep. Great. It is, it oh, is great, really good. Great, great, great. <laughs> all day long. This one? Creepy. Very scary. Very creepy. Like, I, he, like he looks like he's wearing Liam Neeson's skin on his face. You, uh, yes, you say that, but he also looks like, hold on, hold on, what was it? He also just, I don't know, just looks like a freaking alien. He looks so creepy. He's yeah. like, his eyes are almost all pitch black and... Like, there's no, there's likeness to Liam Neeson's, but mm -hmm. whatever. I guess we'll be quiet here, and now we're going to go quiet gone at the table. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> that is, that is staying in the video. I, I was trying to think of some kind of I'm about to cry from how stupid that was. <laughs> That's staying in. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, we're right, We are quite here and we are going quite gun to the table. <laughs> that, that that still doesn't make you say it twice, it makes even less sense. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move now. Okay, so this should hopefully be as simple as opening the uh, retro Spider-Man figures. So it shouldn't make resealing this too hard, because it looks like it's basically the same box design because i definitely am gonna i'm gonna want to put this guy back in and i'm gonna want to put him up on the wall if i ruin it i ruin it i'm sure i can find another for for a decent price but it looks like this is going through just fine much smoother than the uh archive ones Voila! Boom. So, got that all there. And then, yeah, I guess just like one more quick little comparison now that I'm in like the slightly better lighting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> <laughs> this this was like definitely one of my favorite figures as a kid, though. I loved this one. I always thought his boots were super cool. This is a memory that sticks out in my mind very vividly for some reason. But yeah, opening these, not very hard. Um, as long as you got like a nice sharp knife or like an X-Acto knife or something like that. So, pop him out real quick. 
and we'll go over everything. So, right off the bat, these are almost 100% identical bodies. There's, there's some slight differences in color and a little bit of paint, I can tell, uh, just by looking at it. So this one, the old one, definitely looks a little bit dirtier. It looks like the, the dirt paint depths are lightened in certain spots, a little bit more defined in others, but definitely kind of lighter overall. And then I guess the biggest difference is this bit in the collar. This is definitely more uh, darker brown. This is definitely more tan brown. So yeah, you can definitely see it. <laughs> Obviously, the biggest difference is in the face. It looks like the hair is almost... Uh, no, yep, yeah, it's basically the same. Looks like the mold, when it's pressed together, is like a different angle. But, yeah, you can tell this is actual Liam Neeson. This is uh, creepy, shape-shifting <laughs> imposter yeah, Liam shape -shifter Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson's dead skin and beady little <laughs> rat eyes like I was telling Bernie if you look really close at this one there's like spaces next to his eyes I'll grab the lightsaber there's spaces next to his eyes that make it look like he's wearing like a flesh mask wearing a Liam, Liam it's Neeson so face. <laughs> creepy like I didn't even notice until like people kind of pointed it out to me um but then yeah this is phenomenal this looks like exactly like Lee Neeson like as close as you're gonna get in this scale it does look like there's a tiny little bit of a uh, paint that here I don't know if that's just schmutz or if that's actual paint no, it's actual paint that's not a big deal but yeah this is the likeness is awesome it's on this one gorgeous compared to the black series yeah. um it's beautiful i have no complaints the beard the beard's a little like uh i don't know what you want to call it it looks uh kind of like almost like a fake beard on it but again still better than the old one it definitely looks more like real facial hair like if you well i was gonna say if you look at the faces i'm i'm sorry to interrupt if you look at the faces and you turn them like side by side or even front front by front whatever you want to say they look different yeah they changed apparently they changed the entire face sculpt on the new one because they tried to just slap the photo reel on the old mold and it didn't work so it's like you can like it it looks vaguely like liam neeson but this one is like you see that and you're like oh that's qui-gon that's liam neeson right so down to just everything else it is basically 100 percent identical just slight variations in the paint app uh moving over to the Accessories, I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same. So if I held these up, you wouldn't be able to tell me which one came from which, but this is the old lightsaber, this is the new one. They are fundamentally identical. Um, actually, hang on. Looks like the new one has uh, some paint tap errors in here that you can see versus the old one, but it's, it's like the old one. So basically the only difference in terms of uh, anything besides the face is the old one comes with an extra hand that the new one does not. It's like this little pointer stance figure, kind of like what Obi-Wan does. And it's like, you know, I, I get why, because they were kind of trying to stay close to this. But at the same time, it's like if they really wanted to get closer, they would have had him holding the lightsaber and kind of like a sideways pose. They could have thrown the hand in there anywhere and it would have been fine. It wouldn't have really throw anything off and most people wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have complained. And the handful of people that would have, you screw them. So, if I remember correctly, yeah, they stand just fine. The old one, I didn't have any real problems balancing or standing. Standard, black series, lightsaber fair. Clips into the belt. Looks real nice. Um, and then back in, and then it shouldn't be much of a problem. Even though he's got a slight, he's got like a trigger finger. I don't know why they do that with Jedi characters. Uh, the peg does kind of get in the way, but he holds it nice, pretty easily. You know, it's not nothing really uh to write home about. It's a Jedi character from the Black series. They all hold their lightsabers just fine. It looks to be slightly taller. Uh, is it? I don't think so. I think that's just the head mold. It, ah. it might it might make him slightly taller just because his head's a little bit thinner. Yeah. Um, it's, a, mean, it's not as round. 
Right. And it, you also, I think you get maybe a little bit more range with it. Maybe a tiny, like, smidgen. It might be, like, a like a fraction of a centimeter taller. It's definitely slightly noticeable, but yeah, I think that's just because his head is, uh, his face is, and head is a little bit thinner. This one's a little bit more round. Right, more of Liam Neeson. Because, yeah, it's it's the same exact body all the way down. There's no differences. It does have the old Black Series double joint, standard single joint, all that good stuff. Don't really have to waste too much time on articulation. It's it's an older figure, but, you know, it gets the job done. The real, like I said, the real star of the show is the face, the, the updated face. Oh, yeah. And then the fact that, you know, if you missed out on a Qui-Gon, which a lot of people apparently did, because apparently, I because I never saw one, but from what I was told when I when we found this one in one of our old, old, old videos, some people were kind of giving us crap, like, oh, Qui-Gon's not rare. That's not a rare figure. I see him at GameStop all the time. But it's like, when we found him, he was going for like 70 to $80 in box. So it's like, it's rare or expensive, whatever you want to say. But... <clears throat> You know, some people are kind of giving us crap. So, if you miss out on Qui-Gon the first time around, I don't, I haven't really checked into, like, the second-hand market on these new ones. I don't really imagine they're going to be that hard to find. I think Qui-Gon is probably, it might be, like, more like a, a retro rogue situation where it's, like, it's not super hard to find, but people are just going to be scalping it just because the old one is still so valuable. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a good way to, like, if you missed out on Mace Windu or, you know, you just really like the card backs or you need a couple battle droids, like, not say like a, a halfway army builder well yeah because it's episode one battle droids it's like that that cream brown because mm -hmm. the the other ones that came out there's like a geonosis one and then there's like the battlefront 2 one so if you want just like plain battle droids they're, they're great for like customs you mean like battle droid lieutenants and all that stuff it's a great way to to you know catch up on figures you might have missed out on or ones that you don't really feel like paying you know 60 to 70 dollars for yeah. um so yeah, what are your uh, second impressions out of the box, Brittany? Oh, I, I, this new one, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I mean, obviously, like I said, he looks taller, and I'm assuming that's because the face mold is more to Liam Neeson versus yeah. the old one where it's like face. Yeah, you can see <laughs> it. His face is it's like slightly smaller, but, but taller. But yeah, so I, <clears throat> I personally think the newer one, I love it. Mm -hmm. Personally, love it. I mean, really, all they did was just they, they recast it ahead and popped it on an old body, but it's still, it just really works. So. I'm also happy it doesn't look like a skinwalker. Yeah. I, I just kind of wish they would give him, uh, I mean, because even in the picture here, you know, they none of the Jedi's really come with robes. No, it would be cool to give him a robe, so. Do you have one? Because even back in the day, I had the other one here. They came with variants, and these ones are really cool. Because this is before the Attack of the Clones figure started coming out with the separatable blades. You would get separate hilts. You could plug them into the belt. So, just a, a neat little aside. Yeah. So, I guess, yeah, like I said, the only real downside, they didn't give him, like, a Jedi robe, and he's missing his hand. Which I don't really remember him doing this gesture in the movie. Maybe, like, a force, it's a force mind wipe yeah, thing. Force but, move, but Jedi also... mind trick. It's also uh, in between the red thing, the force field. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll move back to the, the table and we'll, we'll slap a little score on this and wrap this video up. All right, so yeah, we're back at the table. I did pop the uh, our Padawan Obi-Wan out just because it's kind of like a special occasion. You know, it's kind of like a scale reference. Those are both phenomenal figures. Like, the likenesses on both of them, it, it, oh, it just looks so good. Like, I almost don't even want to put the Qui-Gon back in the case. I, I want to keep him out and set him up with the Darth Maul because that ah, just compared to this, the one that I was working with before, that's really bad. Those they look so good together. I love it. I, I want to get them both uh, some custom robes. Maybe right. I'll, maybe maybe I'll try and find another Qui Gon. I think I changed my mind. I'm gonna try. And, I'm gonna try and find another one. I want to keep it. I, out of the I was looking for a moment. I'm like, where is where is he? Where Who? is he? Uh uh uh, Darth Maul. No, I know he's up there. I, was, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was on the shelf. I was going to be like, <laughs> Yeah. No. So, uh, final scores. Final score, I love... Love is, it. Is this not Shapeshifter Obi-Wan? I can't no, see the final. This, this is Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter Obi-Wan. <laughs> he's the one with the extra hand. Oh, okay. 
I like this Obi Wan a lot. I give him a four point five out of five. The, the Obi Wan. Obi Wan always. I, gets I mean, a, I, I like oh, I like no. that Obi Wan too. I like Obi Wan that always gets a five for me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Qui Gon, this this Qui here gets a four point five out of five for me. Um, this shapeshifter Qui here. Um, this Qui Gon is I don't I don't know. It's just so. Weird, like you look into its eyes and it wants to eat your soul. <laughs> you look it's, into its eyes. It's so creepy. I've never seen a figure like this. Like they can make a movie about it, like that Annabelle doll, like just yes. like, this, this creepy, this creepy Qui Gon skin, figure. Skinwalker Qui Gon. Like, let's forget. It's so weird. Like you look into its eyes and it wants to eat your soul. It I is, cannot explain it. It is unsettling and like uh, like an uncanny valley sort of way. Like it's like yeah. it's so close to looking human. It's like something. Like like oh, oh uh like Edgar what's what's his name Edgar from Men in Black the the cockroach thing in oh, the body oh what's his name it's not Edgar give me sugar water yeah, give me <laughs> sugar water more sugar yeah more so, yeah. I, mean, I guess I guess if you want to throw like a retroactive score on a figure we've had forever I, I mean for me I probably give it like a two point five for what Skinwalker, Skinwalker? yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not Skywalker, Skinwalker. I give Skinwalker at least a three. He's freaking creepy. Oh, he's freaking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> he's very creepy. Yeah. Like, but besides that, like the body, the hair, and everything like that is awesome. I love it. Yeah. But Wait, I mean, if if he's like this. Oh, please don't make him look at me. I if, don't want to look at like, him. If, it, if it's like that. It's not bad. Oh, please. But yeah, just we'll get another look at these guys. I, I'm still like, I, like even in the box, I was looking at the Qui-Gon, I was like, it's really cool, but out of the box, like closed up with Obi-Wan. Like, oh. He looks really awesome. Like, and God, I wish I had figures like this as a child. Because yeah, as you guys know, like, I mean, I do collect the episode one figures because it's like, you know, this is, this is what I had growing up and these were still pretty good. But I mean, oh God, if I these are so beautiful. That they're they're like little miniature like works of art. Let's just put his face down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just compared to like the old ones. I, I'm, that's why I'm so sad I missed out on that that Comic Con Obi Wan. I would love to have him in the Episode One car back without having to drop like 180 bucks. I start dropping. I do have this. I did find it. Just just for nostalgia's sake, anybody my age will will remember this. You ready? <sighs> it's Obi Wan underwater. Do not defy the council, Master. Not again. Do not defy the council. We'll do Qui Gon and then we'll we'll wrap this up. <laughs> Bernie loves this thing. I hate this. I will become a Jedi. I promise you. Be wary. I sense a disturbance in the Force. <laughs> see this is one of the reasons like with these this this release like it would have been just if they went the extra mile and, like made not only like a uh, like a fake comp chip but made like one that actually worked with this because you can find these everywhere for like five bucks they're not hard to find and like if hasbro like went out of their way and made like a working comp chip that oh my god that was just that would be so lame but so awesome at the same time so We'll, we'll lay this Qui-Gon to rest. We have a nice new replacement. Please just... <laughs> face down. Please put him face down. Yeah, we'll, we'll have these guys just kind of... Uh, kind of next to each other here. Just... Ah, oh, it's so cool. Like, I, I, I just wish I had figures like this as a kid. Oh, yeah. And, uh, no, Qui-Gon for me is a 4.5 all day long. He gets my seal of approval. And, you know... <laughs> Of course, of course, Obi Wan always gets my seal of approval, no matter mm -hmm. what. All right, so awesome, awesome figure. If you missed out on Qui Gon before, or Mace Windu, or any of them, um, actually, I'll just grab Mace Windu right now, just yeah. so you can kind of see. It's it's literally the same exact figure. I already have one. Uh, Mara Jade's borrowing his lightsaber right now. But yeah, he only came out like a year or two ago, so they didn't they didn't change anything to it, and. Uh, yeah, so Bernie's at 4.5. Uh, I'd probably go a solid 4. Just for the couple of little like uh, nitpicks with the paint apps and everything on that one. I, that for me personally, but yeah. Alright, well I guess that's it. So continue to like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on YouTube. If you like us enough, you can hit the like 
or like button. You can hit the little bell to see when we upload new videos. So uh, we always want you to follow DK Customs. Um, or right here. Oh, where are you going? Whatever. Follow DK Customs too. He does some awesome stuff. We love him a lot. And yeah, we'll be back again soon. So, bye! Get rid of the skinwalker!